a brain is a system composed of atoms. The same atoms that compose, say, rocks, stars, moons, and planets. Any other inanimate object, say, a crystal. A crystal can also be composed of carbon atoms, which also exist in my brain under a different arrangement, a different structure, different pattern, so to say. So, in principle, we cannot really fundamentally differentiate a living biological brain from a crystal uh, insofar as both are arrangements of the same types of atoms. So, unless we can determine that conscious experience arises from specific arrangements of atoms, from a specific architecture, a specific structure that is embodied in a brain and is not embodied in a, in a crystal, for instance, unless we can do that, we must consider the possibility that not only brains, but any material system has an inner aspect as well. That in the same way that there is something it is like to be a brain, there is something it is like to be the entire material universe. Now, as I've just tried to, to, to point to uh, a moment ago, uh, we do not know how specific structures of allegedly unconscious matter could give rise uh, to conscious experience. That's the hard problem of consciousness, uh, the second most important unanswered question in science, according to the to 2005 anniversary edition of, of Science magazine. So we cannot associate consciousness to a specific arrangement of matter insofar as we know today. So we must grant consciousness to be the internal aspect of the universe as a whole. Now, if that's the case, then there is something it is like to be the universe. The universe as a whole has an inner life. And the universe we see, we measure, the planets, moons, stars, galaxies, galaxy clusters, and so on and so forth, that's the image of a sort of cosmic nervous system. In exactly the same way that a human brain is the image of a person's inner life. That nervous system that a human brain consists of is the external aspect, aspect, the second person perspective of somebody's subjective inner life. And since a brain is just an arrangement of material particles like the rest of the universe, what I'm saying is that the universe as a whole is also a nervous system. It is the external aspect, the second person perspective of a cosmic inner life of a cosmic stream of subjective experiences that we might say, we might call God's dream. God's is a very overloaded word, but I think it's appropriate in this context. So when we look out to the stars and galaxies, the hypothesis here is that we are just seeing a segment of God's brain, the external view of God's inner life. As a matter of fact, there has been some computer modeling of the structure of the universe at the largest scales. Uh, it's something that we cannot see directly because we are, of course, within a small segment of the universe, but we can calculate in the computer and we can see how the distribution of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and, and, and the dark matter that connects them all together, how it looks exactly like a brain, like interconnected neurons forming clusters with the synapses connecting them, the patterns are exactly the same. Uh, the New York Times has published a photo comparison, I think, in two, two, 2006, showing this, uh, neurons on the one hand and the structure of the universe at the largest scales uh, on the other hand, and the images are very similar. And, of course, uh, visual similarities can be very misleading, uh, but there has also been some very detailed mathematical studies about the structure of the universe and the structure of networks and the structure of the brain. Uh, there has been a publication in 2012 at uh, the University of California at San Diego, some research done there, that shows that it's not only a visual illusion, it's not only a visual comparison, uh, that at the level of uh, the distribution of the structures and interconnect, uh, the interconnects, uh, the universe at the largest scales does really resemble uh, a nervous system, uh, a brain, that uh, there are unknown laws, apparently, 
that leads to this. Uh, scientists are a bit at a loss to explain why this is so. Nothing that we know would require the structure of the universe to be like this. Uh, so they postulate some unknown laws, unknown organizing principles that lead to this. I myself would say that the universe looks like a brain because that's exactly what it is. It is the external aspect of the cosmic inner life of a cosmic intelligence.